What is up guys, this is Shido back with another video and currently, right now, I have bricked my Poco F5. So I'll talk about what happened. Well, I was on the 7th February build of the Evolution X ROM and today is 16th February and I just saw there is a new update of the Evolution X on the website and I just straight up downloaded it and flashed it and boom, the ROM was not working. It actually booted but it was not working. So I thought what's happening. So it's definitely my fault that I did not even look it up before flashing. Right now it is only stuck on fast boot. As you can see, even if I hold the power button and hold the volume up or down, it just straight up goes into the fast boot mode only. And I couldn't help, but I actually was trying to flash the recovery. Even the recovery is not able to flash because it shows some kind of corrupt partition. So all of this actually happened because you need to be on the hypervis formula to flash this latest Evolution X build after 16th February, I guess, from now on. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm just straight up downloading the fast boot ROM of hypervis and I'll show you what I'm doing right now to actually fix this bricked Poco F5. So as you can see, it has just completed the download and I'm moving the files wherever I keep the fast boot ROMs. My device, by the way, is, is still in fast boot. Currently, I'm just gonna extract this particular zip file or the TGZ file actually. And while it's getting extracted, and right now I'm just connecting the USB cable to the PC with the device. Now we have to wait. So right now it has finished the extraction process and this particular folder that I will be using. So I'll just copy it and paste it on my desktop and I'll use the Xiaomi flash tool. So the copying is completely done. And right now I'm gonna launch the Xiaomi fastboot flash tool. And this is how it looks like. Let's just refresh it. Let's see if the device shows up. Yes, the device is showing up. Right now, I'm gonna click on clean all first. And then we are gonna go into select. And then I'll be selecting this particular folder that is present in my desktop. So right now it's showing the path on top, as you can see. And right now I'm gonna straight up click on flash. Let's see what happens. And it shows flashing. Of course, this process will take time. And before flashing, let me tell you, do not just select clean all and lock. Make sure you have selected clean all before flashing. By the way, this is just the Evolution X ROM. I just downloaded the latest build. And while I'm doing the fast boot flash, let me talk about one more thing that if you are like me, if you were on the Evolution X ROM previously, the older build, which was not on HyperOS, what you need to do is you just flash the latest HyperOS firmware, the firmware only, and then flash the latest build that should supposedly work and right now I did a mistake that is why I am doing this fast boot flash you may not need to do this fast boot flash if you're switching to the latest evolution x ROM you can just flash the firmware only then flash the evolution x ROM build just dirty flash it that should be working so right now let's get back to the pc and this error is completely fine that's because well I'm already seeing the device is showing the Poco logo as you can see so I can unplug the device I think it's already booting to the system with the HyperOS. By the way, this error actually comes. That's because I did not actually lock the bootloader and that's totally fine if you see this error. And yeah, right now, as you can see, we have the HyperOS logo up there powered by HyperOS. Looks beautiful. I feel like I should be testing the HyperOS, but nah, I'll just switch to the custom ROM right away. And by the way, you get another guide right there that how to flash HyperOS or how to fastboot flash HyperOS right there. I'll put all the links and stuff in the description. So don't worry. And I think this will take time. And there it has successfully booted. Yes, I can set it up right now as you can see, but I won't be doing that. I'll be straight up going into the fast boot mode. For that from the power menu, I just will reboot the device and then hit the volume down button so that it reboots the fast boot so that I can flash the recovery first holding the volume down and yeah right there we have fast boot mode i'll again connect the device to the pc with the usb cable and here i have the recoveries and i'll flash this particular recovery i think this is the latest one for that i'll have to open the terminal and from here we have to write that is fast boot flash recovery underscore ab i just drag the file and as you can see right now it shows recovery a b flash successfully on both partitions so for now i'll unplug the device again so that i can show you and from this fast boot mode i'll just hold the volume up and the power button together so that it boots to the recovery itself and i felt a vibration so i'll leave the power button and right now as you can see it is booting back to the recovery and finally we have booted successfully into the recovery and here i'll just click on wipe and then format data and type yes so format data is successfully completed 
Right now, what I'm going to do is go home and reboot the recovery once. And from the TWRP settings, you need to make sure that you have this automatically reflash TWRP after flashing the ROM enabled. Otherwise, your TWRP recovery may get removed. So be careful about that. So as I have rebooted the recovery, I will connect the device again with the PC. Create another folder here. And right there, I will move the latest ROM that is the 16 February 2024 build. And here I'll just paste it and wait for the time being. Of course, you can also use a OTG drive if you have one. So on the phone right now, if I go into the install section, I'll see that folder and I'll just click on this new folder. And there we have the ROM file and I can straight up flash it because I am totally moving from the hyperwest to this particular ROM. Right now, I'll just select that. And I have all these three things checked and make sure you have this automatically flashed TWRP after flashing a ROM selected from here. And right now, I'm gonna just swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being. Here I'm not flashing the hypervised format because I'm moving from it. But if you're updating to this particular build from the older Revolution X build, make sure you flash the hypervised format, then move to this ROM. I think these errors are fine. If you see them, don't worry. Well, that's a lot of red kind of errors. But yeah, let's see what happens. Right now it rebooted to system automatically. That's because I had that option selected. And right there, we have the Evolution X logo. So pretty much that is how you flash the hypervised based latest Evolution X ROM in case you want to clean flash it. Or in case if you have managed to brick your POCO F5, that is how you fix and flash the latest Evolution X ROM. Well, there we have the welcome screen of the latest Evolution X ROM, which is based on hypervised. Actually, hypervised firmware, it is based on stock Android actually. So yeah, let's get started. And right there, we are back into the custom ROM. And here, I'm going to go into the settings. And inside the about phone section, as you can see, it shows 8.3 Balut, and that's a code name. If you just scroll down, you will see right now my build date is showing up as 16th February 2024. So this is the latest build. Earlier, yes, I was able to boot it, but as I dirty flashed it, some of the things were simply not working, like the camera and stuff was not working. It was force closing. Let's see. Yes, right now the camera is working, and yeah, all the lenses should be working. Yes. As you can see, all the lenses are working. Let's check out the front camera. Yes, also the front camera is working fine. So that's nice to see. Right now, I'll be completing the setup and all my data is gone. So I'll just restore them. But yeah, that is how you flash the latest hypervest based Evolution X ROM or hypervest firmware based Evolution X ROM on the POCO F5. Or if you have bricked your POCO F5, that is how you fix it by fast boot flashing latest hypervest with the latest hypervest supported custom ROM. And of course, I'll be trying to review this latest Evolution X ROM based on hypervest firmware. So stay tuned for that. Now this ROM is still restoring all my app data, but right now I have just updated the Google app and here this ROM comes with the Gemini of Google. And here, let me just show you right now how it looks like. Once you open it, it gives you a new greeting screen just like this. Shows, I am Gemini, a new experimental AI assistant on your phone. And it says, I can help you write, plan, learn, and more. And you can just tap on get started. And it shows language not supported for some reason. We'll see if this works later. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you have learned something, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. And I'll be watching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.